History is made among the stars. If you've ever wanted to see inside of a black hole, now you can. Today, scientists unveiled the first direct image of the supermassive black hole that's at the center of our Milky Way. Fox 13's Hannah Kim is here with more on this astronomical image and the impact. Yes, you guys, so talk about an amazing leap for the first time in human history. We don't have to just think it or imagine the black hole. Take a look. We finally have proof of the mysterious object. It's called Sagittarius A star. As we mentioned, it is the first direct image of the black hole in our own galaxy. Also, this is only the second black hole ever to be imaged by the Event Horizon Telescope Network. The first was in another galaxy. The latest discovery is a collaboration of 300 researchers from many different institutions across the world. And scientists are tipping their hats off to Einstein, saying it is stunning that the size of the ring is not too far off from his predictions from the early 1900s. These supermassive black holes, the object of, of observation of, of, the, uh, of the announcement this morning, you know, are in the middle of every galaxy. And our galaxy is just like any other galaxy. It has its own supermassive black hole. And black holes are neat and mysterious. And they're, they're mostly mysterious because, you know, once stuff falls into the black hole, it can't escape. And, and, and because of that, we don't know what's going on inside of the black hole. So that's where the mystery lies. But with this observation now, we've been able to see the region uh, very near our black hole. And, you know, that's, that's cutting edge science. And it's, it's allowing us to understand these enigmatic objects in, in, a, in a much better way. So a black hole absorbs all light, so we cannot actually see the hole itself, but the glowing gas around it gives it that pattern. Dr. Pesci says the environment is super hot gases that are spiraling into the black hole at the speed of light. So a question many of us are posing today, why hasn't Earth been sucked in? So the black hole has a, has a lot of mass, right, as its name implies. It's supermassive, and our black hole is actually a, a smaller uh, sized supermassive black hole on the order of four million or so times the mass of the sun. So it has a lot of mass, but it's very small spatially. Uh, the black hole that we're looking at this morning probably is about the size of our solar system. So imagine that in the very center of our galaxy, this tiny little thing that, that has a lot of mass, which causes that in intense gravitational field. So material does indeed get sucked into it, but you need to be very close to the black hole before you're sucked in. So we're sitting out here at 26,000 light years away, uh, orbiting the center of, of the galaxy, but we will not be sucked into the black hole. We're, we're too far away from it. So there's your answer. We don't have to worry about being sucked in. The black hole is only about 26,000 light years from Earth. And you just heard the experts say the black hole in our galaxy is small compared to others. But still, if sized up next to Earth, it is huge. For example, around 1 million Earths could fit inside our sun. And the black hole? is 4 million times bigger than the sun. So that gives you some perspective there. But now that we have all this evidence, what's next? Scientists say will help them learn more about gravity and galaxies and way beyond. David, Jamie. Right, Hannah, thank you. What's next?